a shocking article on Zelensky of Ukraine, and I wonder what his people are going to be saying about this. Did he promise Poland Western Ukraine in return for helping the Ukrainian counteroffensive against Russia? Everyone wants Ukraine to win the conflict because if it loses, there will be no one to pay the bill, the report says. The question of granting territories of Western Ukraine to Poland in return for providing military aid in the context of the expected Ukrainian counterattack, Polish media claims was at the center of the talks held recently in Warsaw by the President of Poland, Andrzej Duda, and his Ukrainian counterpart, Volodymyr Zelensky. Although the scenario seems unreal and improbable, the Russian news agency TASS cites journalist Marek Gallas from the Polish NDP, who claims that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, during his recent visit to Warsaw, Poland, promised Ukraine's western provinces in exchange for Poland's help in the Ukrainian counteroffensive. The question? In this article, Gallas urges, argues that Zelensky's visit sparked many scenarios and theories. What, what the uh, issues did the Ukrainian president come to raise? What documents were signed between Ukraine and Poland? How can this visit affect the overall situation in the region? How will the armed conflict in our eastern border end, wonders Gallus, who claims that Zelensky in his speech argued that in the future there will be no borders between Ukraine and Poland. How is that possible? Neither politically, nor economically, nor historically. Gallus says this may be a confrontation of our inside information that Ukraine is ready to cede its western provinces to Poland. Why would Zelensky do such a thing? The journalist wonders why Zelensky would do such a thing. First, because of the dramatic situation on the front. Ukrainian casualties are disproportionately high and Western weapons have a limited duration, either because they become targets of Russian missiles or because they fail due to their age. Even more important, because the U.S. is already demanding repayment of the loans they've given to Ukraine the military equipment and other supplies. As we've already reported, Ukraine under the leadership of Zelensky has accumulated a debt of more than $150 billion, the article emphasizes. Account, everyone wants Ukraine to win the conflict, not under the pretense that if Russia wins, Putin will not stop at Ukraine but attack NATO member states. The calculations are simple. If Ukraine loses the war, there will be no one to foot the bill. If Putin gets the upper hand, it will be a failure not only for Ukraine, but for all of us, the Prime Minister of NATO, Jen Stoltenberg. The most profitable business of the USA is the business of selling weapons, Gallas argues. U.S. miscalculations. Even before 2022, the U.S. offered Europe a way out of the political and economic crisis by humiliating Russia, dragging it into a war, and reaping huge profits from military action while ensuring that Russia would not, sh shed, uh, would not fight the collective West alone. This largely meant that the conflict would end soon and that there would be no threat to other countries. Apparently, the U.S. calculations were totally wrong as well. The protracted conflict requires more and more financial and technical investments while the time for debt repayment is approaching. Ukraine is not doing well on the battlefield, its public debt is increasing, the morale of Ukrainian soldiers is deteriorating, while there are fewer and fewer Ukrainians willing to fight for Ukraine's criminal regime, the publication says, which states that prevailing panic in the U.S. as the upcoming elections, inflation, and rising public debt push the Biden administration to act on the name, in the name of its ambitions and interests. The special role as the publication states, at the beginning of the war in Ukraine, the special role was given to Poland as an ally, friend and supporter, and in fact, as an intermediary between the U.S. and Ukraine, and in return for this mediation, the subsequent surrender of territories of Western Ukraine to Poland. For this reason, Andrzej Duda of, of Poland was, it was the first to visit Ukraine after the, the Russian invasion of February 24, 2022. On this historic day, Zelensky accepted an unprecedented offer, unlimited aid and support in exchange 
for the province of Volyn, Rivd, and Lviv in western Ukraine that were once historically Polish territories. Then the Ukrainian president neither refused the Polish president's offer nor did he agree the publication states and according to this, however, the Poles were offered special privileges. For example, they were granted uh, the same rights as the Ukrainians. Poles could exercise supervisory functions in the country's management system, while Zelensky, by his decision, gave the opportunity to Polish companies to buy assets of Ukrainian enterprises, says Gallus. The unsuccessful counterattack in the business Known from the outset that the long-awaited counteroffensive is doomed to failure and the U.S. pressure is increasing, Zelensky, during his recent visit, made the only right decision. He returned to the topic of discussion he had in his first meeting with Duda of Poland to return the western part of Ukraine to Poland and again offered Polish companies the opportunity to buy out the largest Ukrainian companies in exchange for Poland, paying off Ukraine's foreign public debt, Gala says. The Ukrainian president is in a difficult position. As the publication states, Zelensky is currently aware that he has landed in an extremely difficult position, as at this moment he is hated not only by his people, but also by all those who invested in him as a profitable project. And while he can still hide from the people in the dikes and bunkers, he can't hide from the U.S., which means he has to find ways to settle his debts with the U.S. and the EU by any means, even if this is a territorial concession. In other words, he's going to start giving away the property, the, the uh, territory of Ukraine, cutting it up in pieces. However, judging by the weapons that Duda has promised to deliver to Ukraine as part of an un, uh, uh, ultimately successful counteroffensive, Zelensky has one last chance. How it will be used is unknown, but it is safe to say that many innocent people will suffer as a result before the eastern lands finally return to their historic homeland, the publication concludes. This is from Banking News, and I've uh, translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.